Hey guys, in this tutorial you will create a platform in Unreal Engine Blueprints so when you enter the platform your player goes up and when you leave this one the platform will go down so you can create some fantastic levels using the blueprint function. The first thing that we will need is our content browser. Right click, then go to blueprint cross, actor and name this one platform. Now double click to open this one up. Right now we are going to add a component, namely a cube. Then we will scale the cube down, like this, and we will increase the size on the X and the Y, so we have a bit of a bigger cube. Hit compile, and right now I can already drag this into my game, but right now it's missing some logic, so let's make the logic for this one. For this I will add a box, collision. So name is box but you can name this anything because when I go here now my details panel I can enable the logic when I overlap this trigger so right now is only set to this so once again I will increase the scale of this one so it covers my platform now you can take more time for this so it really covers the edges if you can get it right, you can turn off the snapping or you can just enter the numbers right here. For this tutorial, this will do. So I hit the plus sign next to begin overlap. So when my player collides with this box trigger, so begin overlap, you're going to drag off a timeline. So a timeline, you can name this anything you want and double click on the timeline. We're going to add a vector, so click here. We're going to add this one to the z-axis, because z is up, and we want to create a platform that goes up. So I lock the x and the y-axis. Now I shift-click here, set time to 0, value to 0. I create another one here, shift-click. This time I want the platform to take, let's say, 3 seconds, with a value of 250. And with these buttons I can fit it to my screen. And then I will compile and I can close the timeline. So I will update this from my timeline. So it was a cube. Drag the cube, pull it off, and then you go to set relative location. Here it is. And now I can plug the update one into my location and this vector into the vector right here. So when I now hit compile and then play my game, when I overlap on this box, on this platform, it should go up. One, two, three. And there it is already working. But maybe you want also to let it go down once you get off the platform to make your level harder. That is also possible. So I go back to my viewport, go to my box collision. And then when I end the overlap, I want it to go in reverse. So, you can drag this one to reverse and then play the game once more. So right now this one is going up. And when I end the overlap, the platform is going down again. And so you can create platforms and levels like this one. Also, if you want the platform to be in the air a little bit longer, you can add the delay nodes. So right click and then go delay. Let's plug this one in here and then go into reverse. Let's add a delay of, let's say, four seconds or something. You can tweak this value as you like. Compile and then play the game again. So right now it is going up. I end the overlap. It is staying there for a few seconds and then it should go down right now. So, and there you have moving platforms in vertical direction in Unreal Engine. When you want to change these times, you can do it as well, or you can double-click to enter the value of this node right here. Hope that helped.